Okay, so welcome back everybody. Just a short recap. We are building an adaptive staircase experiment in PsychoPy, where each trial consists of a base grading, a mask, and a second grading, after which the participants have to indicate whether this second grading turned clockwise or counterclockwise in comparison to the first grading. In the previous video, we created our base grading and our mask, and we are gonna pick up from there by creating the grading, which will change in orientation through our staircase. So again, select grading from stimuli and call this one change grading. The start time will be after the mask, which is at 1.25 seconds, and we will make it last for 0.25 seconds. Again, leave these properties as they are, and now for the orientation, our staircase is actually going to define the orientation of this grading, so let's leave it open for now and first finish the rest of our grading. Make sure the box next to orientation is set to change every repeat. Leave the position as it is, since we want this grading to appear in the middle of the screen. Set the same size as our base grading, which was four by four centimeters. Add a Gaussian mask in the advanced screen and a spatial frequency of three. Press OK and you'll see that our grading has appeared in our timeline. Okay, so what we are going to do now is set the parameters for our staircase, which will define the orientation per trial for the grading we just created. So in order to define our staircase, we have to go back to our Excel file. So go back to your Excel file, which now only contains the names of our parameters of the staircase. The first parameter we are going to define is the label, which is basically the name of this staircase. And since we are working with a staircase which has a vertical base grading, we'll have the label be named vertical base. Next, we are asked the start valve. In this tutorial, we are going to be starting with a relatively high intensity, that is a large orientation different from vertical, and this will be 10 degrees. I can't stress enough how much you're welcome to try different values for the different variables and parameters in this experiment and see what happens, but for now, 10 degrees as a start value will do. This way, the orientation difference between the two gradings will be large in the first trial and will get smaller as the trials continue. Then for the step sizes. This one is actually very dependent on the design of your experiment and what threshold you are measuring, but it is usually a good idea to start with large step and proceed with smaller ones. So we'll go for four, two, two, one, and put these values between squared brackets divided by commas. Then for the max and min value, which are the boundaries, uh, we'll set it to 15 and 0.01. Now, PsychoPy actually uses all these parameters to calculate the intensity, which is in our case orientation per trial. And PsychoPy will store them in a variable called level. So what we have to do is use this variable level for the thing we are measuring, which is orientation. So now save your file, go back to PsychoPy and click on your change grading. Now in the box where we can define the orientation, you could type level. And since the orientation is uh, set to set every repeat, every time the trial goes through the loop, the orientation of your grading will be defined by your staircase. In our case, these will be positive numbers, which means that the orientation would always be turned clockwise. But as you might remember, we want the grading to either turn clockwise or counterclockwise. So what we are going to do is remove level here and create a block of code which randomly decides per trial whether the grading turns clockwise or counterclockwise. And in the same block, we are also going to define the correct response. So for now, just click OK, go to custom and click on the button to create a block of code right here. So in this block of code, we are going to create two variables. The first one will be the positive or negative value of the orientation. And the second one will be the corresponding correct key response. So we will name this block of code set clockwise, counterclockwise, and we want this code to be executed every, every routine. So click on begin routine here. We'll ask PsychoPy to choose a random number at the start of every routine. This number will again be between zero and one, and we will just say if the random number is larger than 0.5, we will want our orientation to be just a variable level. Remember that this is the value for the intensity set by our staircase, and in our case, this will be a positive value for orientation, so the grading will have turned clockwise. 
the corresponding correct key response will therefore be the right arrow. But if the value is smaller than 0.5, which we can simply state by typing else, we want our orientation to turn counterclockwise. And in order to do that, we simply put our variable level behind the subtraction sign. This way, the orientation of the second grading will receive a negative value and will therefore turn counterclockwise. The corresponding correct key response will therefore be the left arrow. So, to sum up, we have created two variables, origrad, which determines which way the second grading turns, and the corresponding correct ends. And which values these variables get depends on whether the random number PsychoPy picks before every routine is larger or smaller than 0.5. So there's a 50-50 chance of either one of those happening. So press OK here. And first let me move this block of code to the top again. And now when we click on our change grading, we can fill the variable origrad into the orientation of our grading. Again, make sure it is set to every repeat and press OK. OK guys, we are almost there. What we have left to do is add a key response and fill in our variable of the correct response so PsychoPy knows whether the staircase should go up or down in intensity. So add a key response, call it trial resp, and set the start time to after all the gradings have appeared, which is at 1.5 seconds. Again, leave the stop time open and make sure the box that says end force routine is checked. Now the allowed keys were the left and the right arrow, so just delete the other options and make sure you store the last key. Now we want to store the correct key, so tick that box. And remember that the correct response depends on whether the grading turned clockwise or counterclockwise, and we store this information in the variable correct ends. Now since we see no dollar sign here, and PsychoPy needs to know that it is working with a variable, we need to put a dollar sign in front of correct ends. Okay. Press OK, and you'll see that the key response has appeared in the timeline of your trial. OK, and now the very last thing we are going to do is add a thank you screen, and then we have a beautiful working staircase experiment. So go to Insert Routine, select New, and call it Thanks Screen. You will see the Thanks Screen appear in your flow. Just click on it and add some text. We'll call it Thanks Text. Make it appear as soon as the routine starts, so zero seconds. And for this one, make it last for 10 seconds. You can leave these properties at the default settings and just add your text, which should be something like, thank you for participating. Press OK and that's it. Awesome, good job guys. So we have our welcome screen, our trials and our thank you screen. So now let's try and see if it works. When first starting your experiment, it might take a few seconds, no worries. But then PsychoPy will ask for your participant number and the experiment can begin. So go ahead and have fun with participating in your own experiment and in the next video we will start adding more staircases.